All right, so time for some uh, winter maintenance for this um, power jack. I have both fans wired to run 24 seven for the summertime. But the winter time, uh, the internal components get too cold and it actually won't run, uh, which I was having problems with today. So I'm going to uh, disconnect these two fans and re-hook them up to the thermal switch and uh, have it back to stock for the winter time and then back when it goes to summertime we'll have it running 24 7 again i should put like a little switch or something there anyways i'm gonna take it apart and do that and i've removed four screws where i can take this pull it down just enough there we go pull the bottom out this off to the side in my messy bench. All right, so I got my two fans wired into where this capacitor goes. I, it has a spot for two, they only have one. So I wired my fans in there, and I gotta take that off and uh, wire it back to where the fans used to be, where they used to get their power from uh, this thermal um, temperature sensor. And I'm going to get everything ready to hook up, and I'll show you guys what I did. So I have it hooked up. Very, very temporary. And it's putting out 383 watts. Lots of humming coming from this thing. The fans are not running, because it's not warm enough yet. So I'm going to take my soldering iron, and I'm going to put it on that... Uh, probe there hopefully to heat it up and not destroy it but to get the fans to run. Okay, I got the fans working again. I just tested uh, thermostat with uh, soldering iron. I, I heated this whole metal piece up there that was on the thermostat. It's already cooling down. It's quite cool. Well not cool but it's warm but not. the whole thing shut down due to thermal overheat just kicked back on and the fans just shut off because uh, it is no longer too hot to operate if you're ever working on something like this is everything hit well a lot of this stuff is really high voltage really dangerous and just being very careful to touch just the outside shell it seems to be working really well I can uh, put this thing back together and it's gonna work uh, on thermal again Alright, got everything back together, everything's back on the wall and mounted. And now, we're going to flip it from my charge controllers. So I'm going to shut my charge controllers off. i got these two breakers. This is the main breaker for the inverter. And then I just got these breakers for the power jack. Turn it on. So let's watch what happens. There's one bank of solar panels. So instead of hearing fans come on right away, it just starts making power quietly and happily. Oh. Okay, now let's flip the other bank on. Make sure this is on. Yep, everything's on together. And we're uh, making power happily. Nice. This is showing less because I have uh, a few things charging off it. I got a security camera for my garage as well. And uh, this thing's a little out anyways. This is, uh, I'd say this is about 5% out. Um, one thing I do know is this screen freezes once in a while. And it screws up this count. This should be quite a bit over 800 kilowatts by now and this one um, it's actually almost 900 kilowatts actually it's past 900 it's 905 kilowatts and this is only counted 791 because uh, I've caught this thing it, like frozen a couple times like full days just completely frozen it's still putting out power but the display isn't counting it's stuck at like 50 watts or something like that so this one shows uh, a lot more of what this thing's actually put out. 
Um, and yeah, everything seems to be working nicely. Now I have a nice quiet garage again, and uh, I'm not. I shouldn't have any really cold issues with this thing until it's like minus 20 in the garage. Then this thing will have problems again. It has uh, issues when it's that cold, and uh, I'll. When, on those days I come in here and I actually just warm it up with a heater uh, and then once it starts running it keeps itself warm all day but uh, that's uh, one thing I've learned about my PowerJack 1200 watt grid tie inverter hope you guys enjoyed the video hit the like button it helps thanks